Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. This time I'm taking a look at a Super Nintendo game that I bought at this weekend's Retro Computer Museum event in Colville, Leicestershire. Now I bought this up to sell a big ski. If you've ever been to a retro gaming event like Replay or whatever, you probably wouldn't have noticed him there. And he's called Big Steve for reasons, he's about 8 foot tall. So, absolutely lovely guy, did me a great price on this game. I undenied all day about whether I should pick it up or whether I shouldn't. I was watching videos on YouTube of it, and in the end I decided, you know, I'm a sucker for a shooter, so I waited right to the last minute, he was just packed everything up, and I said, you know what, I'm going to take that game, Steve. And uh, he knocked me two quid off me, and did it, did it me for eight pounds. So, uh, thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. And uh, let's take a look at the action. Now the game is Axley. Don't know anything about this other than it's made by Konami. And it's a very interesting shooter. Rather difficult. I've had a quick go on it already. And I can't get the first level so far. But it's definitely something I'm going to stick with. I've been enjoying my time with it. So I'm quite pleased that I picked it up. So it's both vertically and horizontally scrolling. Obviously not at the same time. I presume it's, it's separate for levels. And there's three different weapon types. And missiles as well. I think you have to be in the right position. Really. Oh, lucky there. So this one has a lot better missiles, this weapon. You can hit anyone with them. Flame here. So I'm not sure if there's any type of power ups or anything like that in the game. Certainly, I've not discovered any so far. Very interesting use of Mode Seven. I've got a game called Philosoma on the PlayStation One and it was clearly heavily influenced by this title without a doubt that's no bad thing, that's a great game as well and this seems to be a quality shooter unfortunately I'm having to use the RF lead because I've not got an AV cable from the Super Nintendo yet after I make this video we'll be jumping on eBay and getting one I know the power machines have got a problem with RGB SCART so probably I'll only be able to achieve Composite AV out. It probably, well, it will be an upgrade from RF, obviously. But for now, it's fine. Certainly, CRT TVs handle it. Handle the RF signal not too badly. I don't know if that guy's gone or goes back. He's out of gas now, then. Not thin, good and dusty. Oh. Yeah, sometimes, as soon as you get hit, and then you lose your weapon. Which is a bit of a bummer, but then again, it's not the loss of a life, so... Maybe I shouldn't moan about it. There's some purple stuff you've got to shoot your way through. Should have gone round there, this is where I got messed up before. Maybe I'll get away with it this time, I don't know. I was lucky. Very lucky. So I'm this 
to the end of Abu Bas. Strange musical score in this game, really. Doesn't seem to particularly suit the action. Oh my word, it's that, what's that all about? So we go for that. So that's an interesting concept, the ability to customise your craft in that manner. So here we go, we've got a uh, horizontally scrolling level now. I've never got this far in the limited playtime I've had so far with this game. I don't know if you can, are they in the background or the foreground or can I bump into them? I don't know. I think the change of weapon could be a good idea. Right? So, I'm hoping that's in the background. It is, by the looks of things, so that's handy. Space station. I think I might pop in here. Let's see if I've got any tea. I'm getting an arm tight vibe in here. Without a doubt. Ah, that's it. You've got a switch. This weapon switch is actually quite important to this game. Parallax scrolling going on there. I'm just wondering which, uh, which section I prefer. Targets. They don't seem very good for the air targets. That's one better. Oh, I can see was in trouble then. So that's it, game over. But uh, definitely a good game. And uh, I'm going to have to put a bit more playtime into that to uh, see what the later levels will bring. So I uh, thank you all for watching, and hopefully, I'll upload some more videos soon.